The next presentation goes to Everybody's Magazine Steelburn Award. This gentleman has been a great force in the Steelburn industry. He credits his success to the Grand Master Lord Kitchener, who afforded him the opportunity of being in the forefront of the business today. You will hear more about him, but the guy to present this award to this gentleman we're talking about is a Calypsonian who came on the scene as a teenager, made it to the Calypso finals in the 1970s, if my memory serves me right. He would never forget that performance. He migrated to the US, went into a sort of semi-oblivion, but in the meantime, he gave us a hit called Feeling Nice Now, and did a Christmas soaker with explainer that raised a lot of hairs across the Caribbean and North America. This year, in 1992, he made a comeback, and oh, what a comeback it has been. In January, the talk that for Road March 1992 would have been this song. But that did not come to reality, but it created such a sensation that even today, in any party in New York, if you don't hear that song, something is wrong with the DJ. I am talking about the song Ratty Ratty Ray, and the presenter this evening, none other than Designer. Good evening. <laughs> well, I've been working with uh, Ken on two records, two successful records. This guy is a master, I gotta say he's a master. I mean, uh, our relationship go way back. And I can say he's young, he's talented, popular, respected, creative, admired, and the ladies say he's handsome. <laughs> Ken Professor Fillmore is one of the prime movers of steel band music of this decade. The Calypsonian Scrunter once said that Lord Kitchener in his will gave Scrunter the authority to advance Calypso. Like Moses receiving the Ten Commandments, this award presented to Professor gives him the authority to promote and establish the steel band art form in all corners of the world by the 21st century. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ken Professor Fillmore. gentlemen I'm very elated as a so to speak one of the pioneers of the steel band movement to receive this award not on behalf of myself you know I'm very grateful but on behalf of all the pan men all over the world who is trying according to what Harold Shedd said I hope that a lot of people is listening to what you're saying sir because people don't realize how the art form Calypso and Steel Band is struggling to move forward in the world. Just like the reggae, the disco, the rap. I must pay homage to Lord Kitchener for giving me the opportunity to be on stage with a grandmaster, the legend. Thank you, Doc. I appreciate it. But most important, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to receive this. But we must all give respect where respect is due. That little boy that you talk about ain't come out the shell as yet. I don't know if I as, the art, I, as one of the members of the art form, knows how people other than the Caribbean people appreciate 
our culture, which is steel ban and calypso. You never miss the water until the well one dry. Appreciate it. According to Stalin, don't be part-time lovers. Love it all the time. Thank you, Homan. Thank you very much, gentlemen. And I also want to mention quickly, too, that um, the pan is not only a carnival thing. Right now, people like Professor Fillmore, Robert Greenwich, Andy Norell, they're involved in pan fusion, pan jazz, calypso jazz pan, playing at places like California, promoting pan jazz. The Pan Jazz Festival in Trinidad and Tobago is a big festival now where the pan genuity is exhibited in the truest form. Once again, let's hear it for Steel Band! <laughs> 